Most of our ancestors made Africa their home before moving and inhabiting different parts of the globe. We obviously don't know much about them, but what we do know comes from fossils and pictures. Besides facial features, we can also notice that most of them are quite dark-skinned. Now, skin may seem like a superficial human attribute, but it's the first thing we notice about anyone we meet. And you must be wondering why our ancestral hominins didn't show much variation in skin color like we see today. In this video, I am going to give you a short and brief explanation of that. Before I begin, don't forget to check out our previous videos on the various human species and don't forget to hit like and subscribe. As we know, our ancient hominin's body was fully cloaked in hair. Being in Africa, a pretty hot continent, they had to adapt to the heat and in order to do so, they had to shed the body hair which happened around 2.4 million years ago. Losing the fur helps them stay cool and also helps them maintain a more erect posture. As they lost the fur, they had another problem coming their way and that is the sun's UV rays and for that they developed a darker skin color. How does the skin color protect them will shortly be discussed. So just by that, we know that our ancestors weren't actually dark skinned. Through some research, scientists even proved that beneath the fur, the skin color of the hominins were actually pale. Coming back, the sun's UV rays or even artificial UV rays are very dangerous and can cause serious harms to the skin and even the eye. One way the body learned to protect itself is by producing melanin which is a pigment responsible for skin color. And that's how our ancestors protected themselves from the sun. More melanin to protect themselves from the heat resulting in darker skin. For that reason, they became darker along the line of evolution. From a scientific point of view, it all comes down to two basic or essential vitamins which are folate and vitamin D. Folate helps make DNA and other genetic materials stronger. It is very important, especially during pregnancy. Vitamin D on the other hand helps regulate the amount of calcium and phosphate in the body. These are the two mains when it comes to the sun as UV radiation breaks folate and sun is the main source of vitamin D. So in order to protect the folic acid which is a form of folate, the body produces melanin but just enough so that it doesn't block the skin to absorb vitamin D from the sun because the intensity of UV rays is dictated by geography, the amount actually penetrating your skin depends on your degree of pigmentation or skin color. Confusing I know but it is what it is. Dosage of sun affects the skin a lot. You'll always find darker skinned people nearer to the equator or the hotter regions and lighter skinned people closer to areas with less sun. Africa or equatorial Africa has really high temperatures. Therefore, while our ancestors were there, they needed a lot of help as shelters were built years after and the only protection was the skin. As time went by and as they started venturing away from Africa to the north and south to places with lesser sunlight away from the tropics, they started developing lighter skin because pale skin synthesizes more vitamin D when light is scarce. Hence, over the course of human evolution, complexion evolved from light to dark to a continuous gradient mediated by geography, genes and even cultural practices. With that said, we need to remember that a particular region is not always defined by skin color because genes also play an important role as human population have been interbreeding for as long as we have existed as a species. Thanks for watching guys. Hope this video was of some help. If there are any other suggestions, do let us know in the comment section below. And do not forget to support us by clicking like and subscribe.